sorry, the camera cut off on me. Uh, so I, I stack them like that one on top of the other. And uh, so that you don't really notice the bat quite so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What can I do you for, sir? Oh, you got a toga, toga situation going on here? Okay. Yeah. Here you There you go. I fixed your toga. So these right here, I actually made copies of these years ago from um, a Halloween shirt that <laughs> my kid had gotten. What's the matter, Saffron? Um, and, uh, I like the design that was on the packaging. So I made copies of the design that was on the packaging, uh, blew it up, and have been saving them for years because I don't have time to actually cut them out. But I will. I will eventually cut them out. In a little bit, baby. It's okay. I'm almost done. And here we got one of my pride and joys right here. He comes... He goes in the front yard, of course. I I don't remember. I don't remember where this one came, but I think it was from a place called Halloween Superstore. That's my only guess, is that it came from a place called Halloween Superstore, and it had a had to have been more than ten years ago. Uh, so he's been on our yard ever since. This little guy, uh, a neighbor, gave to us this year actually. Uh, this was my husband's mask. Um, I think it was two years ago. So he is going on a spike in the front yard. Uh, this one, I believe I made another video about this one. This one's one of the tombstones that I made this year. I'll try to make as many tombstones as I can. I don't know how many that will be. Um, but you know how it is when you have projects that you need to get finished, you kind of get bored of them. Spidey over here. This one was from Spirit Store last year. Spider-Man. Or was he from Target? I don't Spider remember. They have they both have very similar spiders. It's it was Spider either from Spirit or from Target. It's Spider-Man. This is the this is the other um, tombstone that I have finished. I was actually supposed to be doing a tutorial about that. But uh, the day that I uh, did most of the work, my family was over. And I'm really kind of uh, shy about recording. Zephram, don't do that. It's just coming apart right here. I'll, I'll, uh, that's one of the things I have to repair. It's okay. Don't, don't pull on it, Bibs. Don't pull on it, okay? Zephram, don't pull on it. Um, yeah, my family was over that day, and I'm very, very shy about recording when people are over. So that didn't get recorded. I'm sorry. Um, this is a little shovel uh, that I was given for my birthday, my 30th birthday. Um, and I decided to paint a little pumpkin face on him and he's now a decoration and he's better to me as a decoration than as a tiny shovel that I have to bend over and hurt my back using all the time. Um, this one was the Munchkin's first Halloween costume. So he's over there again. He'll be on display until they're more faded than their use. Got a couple of random black crows over here. And then uh, this one's new. This one is a chalkboard um, from the 99 cent store. My phone is getting mad at me because of how long this video is. One pumpkin per child. This one was an old design choice for the front yard. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it up again this year because, well, you can know how my pumpkins turned out this year and I don't know if I'm going to buy that many. So this one might stay put. It might not. I don't know. But I made that a couple years ago. I actually didn't realize how many things I still have that I had made. And then uh, these ones go on the bedroom doors. I'll probably end up getting another pack of those because uh, two of them didn't make it this year. And let's see, I think, think that's it. 
So you can see basically fills up the entire kitchen. Um, a lot of it though is for indoor use. Uh, I'm going to have to try to concentrate on outdoor Halloween products this year. I got a lot of orange. It's one of my favorite, but my theme this year is orange, green, and purple as kind of like the pillows indicated over there. And um, if, whenever I get around to decorating the inside of my house, then I'll definitely create a video for that, see how everything turns out when that's up, and see what else I make. So, I hope that was at least mildly entertaining. I don't know. I, I've never done one of these types of videos. Um, I'm, I, I hope that I will be able to put up more Halloween esque videos up especially as the day gets closer um, I want to do pumpkin uh, recipe videos um, so I will just try to I'll just try to keep posting <laughs> I know I have a tendency to fall off the face of the earth once pumpkin growing season is done but I hope that I will be able to keep going this time and um, and make more, make more internet friends. I love internet friends. Uh, so I'll talk to you later. Um, hope this gets you in the mood for Halloween. And yay! It's, it's almost September.